Hello Fire Ascendants, welcome to the Peace Dealers channel. My name is Bora and I will be reading your November energy for those who have fire in their ascendant sign. The reason why I focus on your ascendant is because it's a gateway to your ascension in esoteric astrology. Okay, let's get into your reading. Some of you are dealing with a heartbreak, um, but it's it's a uh, projected heartbreak from a past timeline. Like, so it's not actually that the situation is involving a heartache, but you're basically projecting a previous heartache onto this kind of situation because it's wanting to be resolved. So just basically deal with this energy by simply being aware of it and letting it kind of pass through your your system so here's one of the ways that you can do it um tune into your awareness when you're having this kind of heartache sensation and and focus on the sensation that it takes form in the physical body so a heartache would feel like like pins and needles around your chest or you know your hands or something like just really scan your body while it's happening and watch it pass until it's no longer there and that's one of the most effective ways you can deal with an emotion and resolve it and it might repeat itself over and over again but you don't always have to work at it from a mental way or an emotional way you can always um, outsource the different complexes of yourself to deal with an emotion and resolve the trauma but for now i feel like recommending this um physical sensation way of dealing with this motion and it's not that it's nothing to do with the actual situation like i said it's got everything to do with this energy that's revisiting you to be resolved and to be basically accepted and then released instead of you trying to suppress it or trying to avoid it neglect it no you just feel it and realize that you are so much greater than this emotion or this physical sensation or the thoughts that are associated with this you know you shall heal this. wow fire signs as if you are not fiery enough you have all these wands success is coming your way so fast you've kind of mastered this like area of emotions maybe it's uh, got to do with the thing that i just said about these heartaches you know um when you work on this emotional kind of fulfillment because it comes from your ability to embody your emotions and let them like kind of channel them instead of trying to hold on to it or suppress it which is when it causes problems is when you suppress repress or over express your emotions or get cling clingy to it um but basically success is coming your way super fast and wow um why is there so many wands fire signs why is there so much fire in your signs <laughs> the stable ground that you are like this foundation and wow there's just so many ones like but you're confused oh my god fire much i think you're confused um because things are progressing really really fast and your timelines are getting so quantum that you know you can't see the long-term trajectory and there's too much happening at once 
And so you're kind of confused as to how you feel about all of these changes that are occurring. You just have to ride through it with mental clarity. Um, and I think that you should be, it's very recommended that you get as much solitude as you can for this month. Um, not to socialize too much or merge energy with other people too much, whether that is talking about relationships or friendships. Um, if you can just have like a hermit month, it's today's, I mean, this, this is the month. But look at how many ones there are. It's literally like all of these contentment is bringing so many opportunities and success in this stable foundation that now it's like you're confused as to it's like you had one thing to focus on before but now you have like five different ten different things and so you're you know you find yourself in this foggy area you don't even know how to feel about what's happening and then you have this internal conflict basically um because you don't know where to put your attention but just know that you have this mental clarity and just to, to just 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 have your alone time right now that's very encouraged right now um is a time that you are you know kind of overcoming all of your addictions basically or even any toxicity in the way you think the way you feel um and the outcome is basically you know this emotional fulfillment emotional mastery and it's it's exactly that kind of heart heart heartache that you're learning to resolve um once you can get through that i mean what else is gonna happen right and this is all destined i mean i don't want to say destined i don't like that word but it's written in the stars that you are stepping into this at the moment and you do have an, um an offer that is tangibly coming to you um could be a new job could be a new stream of income it could be a new person in your life basically let's see what else I see that your heart, heart, heartbreak or your initial kind of experience of this heartbreak came from your parents. I don't know if what happened with your parents, but uh, when you were young, they first gave you this experience. Um, for some of you, it was like abandonment issue. For some of you, it was like neglect. But basic or, or for some of you, it was the fact that they didn't embody this divine love that they should have in terms of your divine masculine and feminine energies so um if you can just get past that because that's the root of this physical memory um and kind of cut your cords with them so archangel michael is the the person or the being to work with in terms of cutting your cords with your parents basically and on a physical level maybe you can reach out if you are fortunate enough to be able to and um maybe have a conversation and forgive them you know and if you're not in a position where you want to talk to them you can write them a letter 
and you don't even have to send it but just the act of putting the words out there and forgiving them in that way is good enough For a lot of you, this is the heartbreak kind of that you experienced that is was blocking your twin flame from coming into your life. Basically, I, I view twin flames as a, a physical manifestation of the internal alignment that you have with your higher self. But for some of you, you couldn't materialize it in the physical realm or even just energetically because of this, this initial heartache, heartbreak. And that is healing because you have this mission as a light worker right how can this come together it's like two cards about this light workers um you are a light worker it's safe for you to be powerful um and for you to be achieving this divine mission as a light worker you need your third density polarity which is your twin flame um so it's not just about you but it's about this mission so just kind of allow this to occur basically and if you're having a hard time letting this go um, you would benefit tremendously from doing a kind of workshop or attending a seminar um, maybe with emotional healing maybe it's EFT like I'm not sure whatever you resonate with and you know just basically outsource the help to your spirit guide or guardian angel or whatever whatever you uh whatever forms your higher counsel of guidance so just get ready to mend your heart basically um and your parents are a good archetype to work around that um but obviously before your parents even happened your kind of betrayal to this um, divine masculine and feminine energies come from your fall towards this dimension if you come from higher densities basically um, you feel abandoned by your divine mother and father figures who are the different aspects of the universe but if you can see the higher picture like it said in your spread you'll be able to move through it okay so thank you so much for tuning in i hope that it has been helpful thank you for your feedback Leave me a comment, leave me a like, and I hope you have the best month ever. I'll catch up with you soon. Bye.